Praise the Lord. Be yell in Tua. Lele Afiafi. Fayon Tato. Patasi Luga Ole. On the internet, Lele Afiafi. Tato Kalesia. It means for initial of my more my. Patalo Fatu. The Swafuman Malo. Yes, Sukiriso. For more near the door, Tato to Fai Salming I. Fai Afiafi I. I only a matter. Sitato to Talo. The two to ma, Fafetail or Field. Who are Lea May Mato, the Nay of Yafi, the Nayaso, Ilo Wanga the Lay. Yay Mato, Uma Lava to ma, Fafetai, Mafayona Mato, Faisal Niga for Iduma, Opena Fai Langi, the two, Manisio Mato Kalesia, Fape for Inisio, Woma, the Mayo, Maibo Mai, the Nayaso, the two. Manuia ya te la to, fatasi mailo nganga le tu en mato afiafi, ya tu ma pea lo alofa, lo wanga le lea, le mato uma lava, nganga paia, fatasi maile le afiafi, ono le suafo yesu. Amen. Greeting is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this evening. We thank you for joining us tonight on our online. Uh, Wednesday night midweek service. We we're just having online this evening and uh, not an in person, but we're going to start and I'm going to start by singing an old hymn. Sepese o hailoa, mare tu spese o le pese se laufa fa, e a matai tato sauninga le nei po tato fainga lotu le nei fiafi, o le pese mare tu spese la mosa. Numerous love fa fa, yeah, fa it is a tail of it, Sylvia. I mean, it's also Lucifer Tasimaya. Was Hallelujah. Oh, 
Lela, O Lobanga, O Yesu, O Le, Faola, Mai, Ua, O Oli, O Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your Pesana, your Fia Yaso, Tama, Fiatai, Tai, De, Usu. Just want to share a, a devotion, a Psalms devotion with us this evening. Psalms 91 is where we'll be reading from and just sharing the word of God from. Salamu na ibas fun matasi. Fai pelo no fai tawinda, fai up mo mua sei ngata mai le fai up os fun malio, os fun malio no. O le no fo ile me lilo, o ia ile si de si de esse, e mau o ia ile paolo o le ona le mau lo si o malava. O te fa pe atu ia yova, o lo malu o ia, malo wolo, o lo watua o te fa tu a tu ia teia. Awa oia na te labe e ina oe i le mai lei a le fai manu ma le fa mai e o ti ai. E o fi ufi i fo oia i a te oe i ona pa au. E te sulu fa i fo i lalo ona pa au. E fai lona fa ma oni ma o tili pui pui. Ma mea e pui pui na i oe. Na i upo lima. E te le matau i le mea matau tia le po, ma le u whana whana e lele i le au. O le whaa mai e whaa rua i le po i sa, ma le mala e whano ai i le au tea tea. E pa u se to awhe i o tawha tawha, ma le mano i lo i tu tau matau, a e le taita i na ai i a te oe, a i pe valu. Na o, na o na wa ai i ai o mata e te le i loa foi le te ui o e a mi o le anga. A wa oe i o vai o lo malu oe ma e faia le sili sili ese ma mea e te nofo ai. E le o o i a te oe se mea le anga e le tai tai ane foi se mala i lo fale ie. A wa e polo ai atu ia i ana angelu I a te oe, e te ausi a te oe, i o na ala uma. Lā tō te awe a te oe, i o lā tō lima, nā i tu ia lō vai i se maa. Tfun mai tōlu, e te solia lō le li o na male a sipi. E te solia lava le le o na tā noa, male tā uimu. Tu marfa, o na ua na o nau mai o ia i a te au, o le mea lea o te whao le i nā i a te ia, o te le, o te whao ma malu i a te ia, o na ua i loa e ia lo i ngoa, whai i pumulimulis, whuma lima, mas whuma leono, e wala mai o ia i a te au, o na o tali a tu lea i a te ia, o au o te i a te ia, I e pōpō ngā o te lawe a i a teia, ma o whātupuina lona mamalu. O le o langa whāwhua loa e mālie ai, e mālie ai o ia i a te au. O te whāli a tu whoi i a teia, la o whāahola tanga. Reading from Psalms 91 for us this evening, and the psalmist writes, he who dwells in the shepherd in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. In a time and season where we're seeking for shelter from all that's going on in our world, the psalmist write, seek the shelter of the Almighty. He goes on to say in verse 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. 
These times are not easy times. They're difficult times. But it's a time for us as believers and followers of Christ, followers of Christ, to understand that the only place that we can find shelter is the, the God Almighty. He's the one that gives us refuge. And he's the one that we need to trust in. Our nation has a saying that in God we trust. We print it in our money, in God we trust. We see it every day. But the question is, when things go wrong, who do we turn to? When things are upside down, who do we seek? Do we seek the God that we say that we trust or do we seek other means? See, amen? Because God is a secure place for those that follow him. And he continues to write, the psalmist says in verse 3, Surely he will save you from the fowler and the snare, from the deadly pestilence. Pestil, pestilence, excuse me. We have nowhere else to turn when sickness comes into our lives. We have nowhere else to turn when the doctor says there is no hope. But I'm here to remind you, seek God. Put your trust in God. An insecure world that we live in. The only security that is offered to us is the one that comes from the Lord. It's the one that the psalmist start, in, uh, start off with. The one that's in the secret place. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wing you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. God's faithfulness for you and I is what protects us from everything that's going wrong, from all the sicknesses of this world. You know, and you're probably wondering why are we just having online midweek service today? Well, a lot of our folks are sick. COVID is still running wild. It's here and it's always a hindrance for going to work, for coming to church. But I'm here to remind you that COVID stands no chance in a world that's already prepared for us by God. Security in Him is what, we're, what He offers us today. There's a variety of danger. There's illnesses. There's uh, bad things that are happening. But no matter how safe you think you are, if God is not in the middle of your world, you're insecure. You're not secure. The Bible says that if God is not with you, the watchmen stand and watch in vain. God is your security. He's the one that we need to place our trust in. Are you trusting God? Are you trusting him with what you're going through? And many of us may not be going through some good times, times that bring joy. Many of us might be going through illnesses tonight. But church, family, friends, and loved one, only God can give us a security, a security blanket that no one else can take away. And he continues to say in verse 5, You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Why? Because God is our refuge. Because God is our rescuer. God is the one 
that has us in the palm of his hand, no matter what we go through. Our boat can be sinking, but when Jesus showed up, shows up, everything's going to be okay. Say amen. Verse 7, a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Why? Because in God we trust. Things might be going upside down, sideways. And it seems every time we take one step forward, it seems two, back, two step backwards. But I'm here to remind you that Jesus still cares, that Jesus is still there, that God still hears our every prayer. And he says in verse 8, you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot on a stone. You will tread upon the lions and the cobras. You will trample the great lions and the serpent because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's this God that we serve. I remember in the New Testament, the devil used this psalm to tempt Jesus. He said, Jesus, if you jump off this, this high uh, uh, place, if you jump off, I will give you whatever you want. But Jesus said, and then he quoted the Psalms, because it is written that the angels will come and make sure and carry you and take care of you so that your foot will not be crushed by a stone. The devil knows what he's talking about. He already knows his end. But the psalmist says, because I love you, I will rescue you. I will make sure that no harm comes to you. With long life, we can say that the Lord is our salvation. Although we might be going through illnesses right now, we can say that the Lord is my healer. He's my redeemer. In him do I trust. In him do I trust. We can pray, Lord Jesus, you never use this uh, pain that I'm going through, this infirmity that I'm going through, this suffering that I'm going through. You see what I'm going through, but Lord, you will take care of us. You will see us through. You will bring healing. You will bring an answer to our prayers. Church, I know that some of you might be sick tonight, but I'm encouraging you today that in a secret place, there's this God that we serve that knows what we're going through. And some of us might be in pain by ourselves. Maybe not a physical pain, but you might be struggling through some, some mental issues, mental pain that's causing you discomfort, that's causing you to think a way that maybe you shouldn't think. I'm here to remind you tonight that there's a God who dwells in the secret place and he hears your agony and your pain and what you're going through tonight. Because he loves you. He cares for you. He loves us. He cares for us. 
en fenai o le no fo ile berlino o yai e sili sili ese e mau o ia ile paolo o le e ona de ma lo si u malava we need to dwell where he is we need to come where he wants us to come nothing is difficulty Nothing is difficult for him. The world might see, oh, that's not going to happen. And sometimes we think, oh, that's not going to happen. That's the end of them. But I'm here to remind you that we serve a God who's bigger than all the illnesses of this world, who's more powerful than all the power and the evil that surround us. And that is this God that we serve. And it's him that we need to put our trust in. And then we can sing that song as we sung in the beginning of our uh, devotion and our service. My heart is full of joy in Jesus Christ, my Lord, because I know he's going to take care of me. He's going to see me through and tonight we're going to go into our time of prayer and there are so many people that we need to pray for tonight and as you're listening i'm going to give you some names and if you would take one name two names and just pray for that person and if you have a need that you want us to pray for uh, we have a person that's monitoring facebook their comments, send it. We might not say it today, but we'll guarantee, we'll, I promise we'll pray for your need in our time of prayer. So tonight, I want us to remember those that are sick. We're gonna dedicate this prayer meeting slash devotion slash time with God to pray for those that are sick in our church. Could we pray for Sister Swafa? Don't know if she's been discharged from the hospital, but her breathing and her heart, can we remember Swafa this evening? Also, Sister Sina. Sister Sina, she always comes with Swafa. Can we pray for her? She has an infection in her body. Just keep her in prayer. Also, for Sister Safai, she was supposed to be discharged from the hospital, and but we need to keep her in prayer that God will control her blood pressure and help her with her breathing, breathing, and also pray for Api and Joy, and pray for the Protestano. Uh, their house got damaged, water damaged, so they're going through some uh, little adjustment, but keep them in prayer. Pray for Will and Laura and David, they uh, have uh, COVID-like symptoms. They took their tests, but keep them in prayer. Pray for Boa's household, Sister Sarai. She's uh, positive with COVID and their household is in quarantine, but pray for them. For the Matao that's going through dialysis or had dialysis early, earlier today, keep them in prayer and uh, Smelai, Easter, and Amara, and, and Asala, and the kids, and all of those that are in the Shaloi household. And also pray for uh, Sister Bella that's going through dialysis tonight, even as we're speaking, and Brother Paul, and Brother Brad, and also for Sister Billy. I know she's in Texas, but Billy and Joel, we're praying for you. Pray for Billy, she does dialysis too. Um, pray for our senior citizens. For Tina Malo Lola Tana, Tamamu Tuaya Tawala, Tinaya Fiobae, Tinaya Leai, Tinaya Swafa, Tinaya Valu, Tinaya Joy, Maya Absaloma, and all of those that are in their golden years. Can we pray for them tonight? 
and pray for whoever you know that's sick that I might not have mentioned. Pray for Janet. Pray for um, Sister Grace. Also pray for uh, Sister Teresa that just got out of the hospital, that God's complete healing would be upon her. And we also want to remember Sister Janet. She's a uh, praise report. She's doing a lot better. But let's continue to lift them up in prayer. There are some friends of ours that are, that are, are in other churches. And can I ask you to pray for them also? Sister Monica from the El Paso Church, she was COVID positive. Keep her and her family in prayer also. And our friend, her name is Vi from Garden Grove Church. She's fighting cancer. Keep her in prayer. Uh, Pastor Tossi Weenie's wife, uh, foe, she's fighting cancer. Pray for her. Stephanie, Sister Helen's daughter, she's only 14, but she's battling leukemia and cancer. Keep her in prayer. And all our missionaries, please pray for our missionaries in the mission field. And if there's someone that I missed that you know of, could you mention their name today, tonight? Remember our church plant in El Paso. The uh, church there is going good. Remember our church uh, planters, Jerry and Toledo and AJ. And this uh, weekend, pray for our, our, uh, our folks that are going down to do the church this weekend. Uh, Brother Kavika, Sister Margaret, and we're not sure if uh, Roy and Will will be able to go, but pray for them as they travel, traveling mercies for them. And if you have a need, give it to the Lord tonight. Give it to him tonight because he is able. You can trust him. You can trust him. In God we trust. Let's put those words not just to our lips, but let's, let's believe in those words. So as we go to our time of prayer, and I lead us in prayer, I'm going to ask you to pray with me. Remember some of those names. And if you have a need that you want us to pray for, our church, our prayer warriors, and myself, please send it through your comment, and we'll be sure to lift that up in prayer. Uh, pray for uh, my cousin Dave, Ina, and Kim. Dave went through a procedure. Uh, just pray for his full recovery. He seems to be doing good, but keep him in prayer also. So let's pray. Father, we just come to you tonight. Lord, as we heard this encouraging Psalms, that you are our refuge. You are everything. And no matter how difficult situation may be, that is never difficult for you that you're always there to help us, to lend a helping hand. And Father, we just come to you tonight. For this evening, we wanna pray for all of those that are sick. You heard our list, so many of them that are sick tonight. COVID, cancer, illnesses, nothing is impossible for you. So tonight we lift up those names to you that you would come and just bring healing upon their physical beings, Lord God. Their physical ailment, Lord, we ask you, Jesus, that you pour out your healing upon Sister Swafa, upon Sister Teresa, Father Tuasapai, Lord, Sister Vi, Fo, Stephanie, Lord, all our members that are going through dialysis tonight, Lord, or earlier this morning, Lord, renew their strength. Brother Paul, Brother Matau, Brad, Sister Bella, even Sister Billy, all the way in Texas. Lord, we know how difficult it is to just be, to have strength after they go through that. But Lord, we pray tonight that you minister to them. Let your healing flow through their bodies. Lord, we lift up our senior citizens to you. Renew and restore their strength, Lord God. 
you know each one by name. Father, tonight, we pray for all the needs that I mentioned, for all of those that are sick, as well as those that have needs tonight. Whatever it may be, from our church family, Lord, we ask that you would intervene. Healing, finance, finances, whatever they're struggling with, vices that they need to be free from, Lord, in the name of Jesus, set them free. Set them free tonight, Lord God. Whatever is binding their walk with you, whatever is an obstacle for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give them the strength to overcome. Father, we also pray for Sister Monica in, our, uh, in El Paso, for her and her family. Lord, they, she was taught, tested positive. Pray for your healing upon her body. Minister to her, Lord God. Father, we have other family members. You see and hear their voices as your church is lifting them up to you in prayer tonight. Lord, hear our cry tonight. Hear us tonight, Lord God. Father, we pray for our missionaries, wherever they may be serving you tonight, Lord God. Touch them, watch over them, protect them, provide for them. As they continue, Lord, to spread the gospel, of Jesus in the places that you have called them to work and also help those that are in need. Father, we lift up our church plant in El Paso. Lord, you see the work is starting to grow. People are starting to come. Lord, help us to, to just move with the momentum, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to continue to do the work that you have called us to do, especially our, our young people that are there on the ground. Lord, helping to establish our church. Your church, Lord God, help them to continue to spread the gospel, share Jesus, minister to the hurting. Father, we pray for our church here in Vista and Oceanside. Lord, you've called us to salvation you called us into ministry. I pray, Lord God, that you help us to be that light in this dark community that we live in. It might seem that everything is all right and people are okay, but without Jesus, they're so far from being okay. And we ask, Lord, that we become that beacon. We become that witness, that Jesus that they need to see. Lord, open our eyes, open our doors, tear down the walls, Lord God, so we can bring Jesus to our community so they can know who you are. Father, we lift up our project. We're trying to renovate our church. Lord, I pray that you help us in that. Make the funds available. Make all the transition uh, smooth. We pray for the city of Vista so that they can approve our plans and give us our permit, Lord God, so that we can uh, carry out the renovation of our church, Lord God. Lord, I pray, help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be about your business. Because at the end of the day, at the end of our lives, we're gonna have to give account to you if we've been doing what you called us to do. If we've been the preachers of the gospel that you have called us to do. Have we been the ministers to those that need to be ministered to? Or have we just been just enjoying your blessing and just coasting? Father, we pray, stretch us, take us out of our comfort zone, use us in ways that we haven't been used before. I pray for all our pastoral staff here at our church in Vista and Oceanside. Lord, give them a passion for the hurting, for the needing, and also, more importantly, for the lost. Lord, I pray that everything we'll do, we do in love, and everything that we do in love is to win a soul for you, is to encourage a heart for you, is to strengthen someone's faith in you, Lord God. Father, 
to watch you love fear, but I watch you from when we are my lone world. To mama to now much to her, you all love it out of all my fun now that you are. But as you may long and my mother, from when we are your tail at all, my more my lunga or the internet than they are fiafi, or half when you man hunger, or where see the fear of all your tail at all, or oi and more wide tongue. Oye mo wai fa ma lo nonga, oye mo wai le tali i mera tau tupe, oye mo wai le sa lo tonga i mera e te tau na mato sa lo tu mai ya. Mato te alo lo fa tele ya te oye te ma. Wane mo mua lo fa mai ya te mato. We love you Lord. And we are so grateful for all that you do for us. Pray, Lord God, that you will continue to change us, change our lives, change our minds, change our hearts in a way that will bring change for someone else. Bless all of us tonight. And Lord, as always, we pray, forgive us of our shortcomings. Forgive us, Lord, and we should forgive those that may have wronged us Forgive those that might have said things about us. Forgive those that, that are planning to do harm for us. Lord, help us to do that. Help us, Lord, to work together in love. Help us, Lord, to build your kingdom, to build our family, our families, and our community, and our churches. Lord, let us be the love that you want us to be. Cover us with your blood, Lord Jesus. Your mercy and grace follow us, Lord, all the days of our lives. And Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer tonight. All the glory and honor be to you. And Father, I pray that you bless uh, Gavika, who's here, uh, streaming this. Bless our church family. Bless those that are visiting us online tonight. We love you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday. We still have prayer meeting. And we'll see how it goes. But just plan on being here at prayer meeting at 7. And when you come, uh, practice uh, safety precautions. And also on Sunday, we have church at 1030 and Sunday school at 9 o'clock. Come and be part of, uh, of worship and Sunday school. So God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.